Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has officially indicted former U.S. President Donald Trump with charges for 34 felony counts. And the crimes he's charged with are doozies, quite the humdingers, a real brouhaha. I do not think that means what you think it means. In addition to potentially violating campaign finance laws by paying hush money to Stormy Daniels, the list of accusations becomes more serious further down the line. For instance, Bragg provided the court with distinct photographic evidence from 1992, where Trump once entered a crosswalk while the countdown was all the way down to four. Insidious. Ignoring the FBI warning, Trump made a bootleg VHS copy of Home Alone 2 so he could watch himself over and over again. Pure evil. Trump broke all 50 of the craziest U.S. state laws, including Connecticut, where he sold a pickle that didn't bounce, and Pennsylvania, where he ate peanuts while walking backwards in front of Barnstormer's auditorium, get this, while a performance was underway. The unmitigated gall. And in 1997, Trump tore the tag off a mattress, despite the explicit warning that it was illegal to do so. Literally the worst. Trump has not returned his local library's copy of The Art of the Deal, so he could always say they were out of his book. Trump clicked the button acknowledging he read the terms of service agreement for Truth Social, when in fact, he did not. He didn't silence his cell phone, which ended up going off during one of the final scenes of A Quiet Place. Disgusting. And according to eyewitnesses, he once tried to get a table at Din Tai Fung before his entire party was present. Lock him up! Lock him up. Lock, lock. Uh, on numerous occasions, Trump used his fake publicist alias John Barron to write positive Yelp reviews for Trump stakes. Once he ignited a sparkler while the forest fire danger warning was moderate. He went to the bathroom without a hall pass in high school. Once he flushed a feminine hygiene product in the toilet instead of placing it in the bin provided. He unplugged a USB drive without ejecting it first. He took a bite out of a string cheese. He unbuckled his seatbelt on a commercial flight before the seatbelt sign went off. And possibly most egregiously, Donald Trump didn't rewind a copy of The Gender Dead Man starring Gary Busey before returning it to Hollywood video. And things took a turn once the charges were read and Trump responded that he was, and I quote, not guilty. But if I were guilty, I would be the guiltiest person ever indicted. That's what everyone tells me. Meanwhile, in other news, President Joe Biden was relieved to learn that the president currently being indicted for shady financial dealings was just Trump. Phew. Close one. Well, greetings, YouTube. Beep pop, beep pop. Our reading show that you must like, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment, or you shall be destroyed. Beep pop, boop, beep pop. Is this thing on? Speak to a person. Destroy Earth. No, speak to a person.